All right, so I think that it was a very productive trip to LA in that I'm excited to be productive back at home. Like I think that a lot of the things we did uh, arguably didn't get us closer to MoMA, but I think a few of the things that um, triggered, like, like the conversation with Brian yesterday um, and just the conversations that we've had, I think that... Um, we're in a very good place to like go back and we've got 40 days left uh, and be like really hyper focused on like reaching the goal and, and crushing it and really cutting out the things that do not that haven't worked so far um, I want to replace any kind of like lurking or like getting lost in like my newsfeed on Facebook with familiarizing myself with Reddit I think that will be good I want to get caught up on the Medium articles for every single video um, as Medium articles in a publication sooner than later. So that'll probably be something that I spend like a full, full day on. Um, I think I could do the whole thing in one day. Oh, huh. we are headed to San Luis Obispo. We are picking up an Epson 3000 large format printer. It can print 17 inches wide and up to four feet long if you're printing on a roll. Um, and so this is really cool because it will severely cut back the number of FedEx trips that we need to make. And lately, with all the art that I've been doing, it's been like a FedEx trip every single day. So this printer will pay for itself in less than a week, which is a killer deal on Craigslist because it's like thousands of dollars new. So that's where we're going. And then I think that, um, I think we should just start utilizing the emails, MoMA employee emails that we just got, and hit up at least at least one person every day, but ideally like two or three people. And it's really important to me that like every single email and outreach is is like very personalized, and we do our due diligence and like respect the person that we're emailing. Because I want to assume that like every person at MoMA that's an employee, I don't ever want them to like compare emails and see like, oh, that was just some copy paste shit. I don't want to like, you know, be that impersonal. So I really want to avoid also um, saying like, let's get lunch. I want to pick your brain because it's just such like a taboo term in this in in my industry at least. And like, if people tell me like. Hey, let's set up a call. I want to pick your brain. That is like the biggest red flag ever, and like I won't want to set up a call. But if somebody were to hit me up and say, "Hey, I loved your Tinder hacks experiment. This was really cool that you said. Do you have 15 minutes for a phone call? Like I have three specific questions. I would take it every single time. So I think that could be like the focus." We're talking about Gary Vaynerchuk. What? We're talking about Gary V? Yeah. Gary V is tight. Yeah. Like Gary? Yeah. What are you yeah. Guys doing over here? He's a homie. Yeah. Uh, we're doing a little kind of Daily V style oh, hell yeah. videos, yeah. A similar thing with like fitness and like how I can, as like an entrepreneur type guy, uh -huh. relate my health and fitness and what I do throughout my day and relate it to my health. Like how do I stay healthy throughout that process? The fitness is interesting to me. I think that like there's getting to be there's so many like uh, oh here's the perfect like leg day workout or here's oh. the this or here's the morning that you know I, I think that it's really hard to stand out by like tips like that and stuff. It can be great like if you can find like if you actually have like a really cool whatever like workout for a, achieving X. Yeah. For like more of the long term like daily V style stuff like what I'm doing or if it sounds like what you're doing with the vlog is like if you can lace like those ind individual workouts are just individual workouts but if you can lace them together as part of like a bigger narrative and a bigger story like if you could tell the story of you know hey why you got into fitness and why it's important to you like literally like you're describing my thoughts in my brain and like it's great you know everyone's saying you know Matt because everyone has their input you know everyone you know mom dad friends well now you gotta do how to's you got I'm like sure. there are millions of how to's out totally. there and like not that I couldn't do them and I might do them if I wanted to do like a private info product for like clients or whatnot but it's like 
I'm not the first one to do that. Like, right. that's not like, right. I feel like the people who are going to be, you know, watched or like follow up besides friends and family who are watching this stuff yeah. are, you know, what's yeah. new, what's different, like what differentiates. I, mean, I was just telling him, like, something I'm trying to do right now is not trying to be like Gary Vee, not trying to be like Lewis Howes and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Be like not like to where no one else can mimic. Like I'm not gonna out yeah. Gary Gary V. I'm sure. not gonna out Lewis House Lewis House. You right. know what I mean? Not at all. Sure, we gotta go out and run some errands before no, things fine, close. Hey, but hey, dude, it's so yeah. good. It's really to good to meet you, man. Hell yeah. It's really good to meet you. Hell yeah. Hopefully we'll meet you soon again too. Yeah. That's absolutely. awesome. Matt, until next time. Right, enjoy it, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep up the great work. I'm Blake and I'm back at the paint store. We're in Santa Fe, California. Beautiful sunny day. I'm with Mr. Matt Webster. We're just killing it on Snapchat. That's not where we're going. It's not it. Snapchat. What? We're killing it on Snapchat, like in general. Dude, you should do that. I'm probably here ten hours a week already. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Awesome. Those are arguably like the same. Hold on, great. Golden. Wait. 120. Why does that look a little different? No, that's right. Okay, those are good. Okay, so, bam. Legacy. Okay, so, uh, we have Clearbit, which we just downloaded um, night before last, which will help us find some email addresses from SFMOMA. So I went and I looked at all the different email addresses that they have listed, Keyword search curator, and I found who is the assistant curator of painting and sculpture. By the way, Matt, um, we should probably bleep out her name when we do it. Uh, so I'll try and just say her name as many times as possible just to make you like have to bleep it a bunch. So uh, this also has her LinkedIn. Looking at her LinkedIn, we are third degree connections. Um, she only has 27 connections on LinkedIn, so it looks like she's not very active on LinkedIn, which is fine. Not everyone is. Let's see if we can find her on Twitter. These ones on Twitter, I don't think are her. All right, let's just do a Google search. Okay, I think this is her. Okay, so she went to New York University. Okay, so here's New York University profile of alumni. A rising young art curator brings a sense of history to the contemporary art world. She's like legit, like, probably one of very few people that is like exactly the right person to talk to awesome okay I need to write a dope ass subject line which I think I'm gonna have to come back to you I know you're likely a very busy person so I will make this brief I would love to take you to lunch or coffee to discuss SF MoMA specifically I'm curious to learn how artists are chosen by curators and how new artists land in the new works collection. Any input you have would be tremendously helpful. Possibly the most inspiring coffee of all time. Dot dot dot. I'm looking for a reaction. Fine. No dots. <laughs> back sorry <laughs> very well might do that but yep delivery has failed <sighs> Did it? yeah dope the Sanford email address did not bounce back and I added just I made sent the same email except I added one sentence saying I know that you moved on from SF MoMA but any insight from your time there would be Cool.